Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I will show you 10 cool things you can do with your Apple Pencil when using note apps. I assume most of you use note apps to insert text, but using Apple Pencil you can do a lot more things. So if you're interested, make sure to watch this video until the end. As you open up your note app, this markup tool shows up on the edge right here, and using this you can do handwriting and even basic drawings. Now let me just show you how useful this markup tool can be. First you can move the markup tool wherever you like. When you move it to a corner, it becomes a small circle, and when you put it on the edge, it stretches out like this. There are three kinds of brushes we can choose from, including ballpoint pen, marker, and pencil. So just select the one you prefer, and if you want some color, you can do that with the marker. Speaking of color, on the right side of the marker panel, there's this rainbow button. Go ahead and click on it, and you can choose from lots of different colors. For those who want to pinpoint an exact color, go to the slide tab on the right. By moving the sliders, you can choose the level of red, blue, or green you want to have. Once you've got your color right, go ahead and click on the plus button on the bottom to save it, and this way you can always use it whenever you want. For the brush thickness, you can just press here to change it. If you play with the slider below, you can always change the opacity level as well. For example, there is a part that you really want to make stand out, like a title or something, and I often draw green lines and then blue in between. Afterward, if you erase it a little bit, it looks really great. And there are two types of erasers. We can choose either pixel eraser or object eraser. If you go with the object eraser, the lines will completely disappear like this. If you go with the pixel eraser though, you only erase the parts you trace over or just the parts covered with your Apple Pencil. And if you ever want to undo something, you can just slide three fingers over the screen from right to left. This will undo the last thing you did. And if you go from left to right, it will redo the last thing you erase. I find it's kind of a hassle, and depending on the app you're using, you might have to slide two fingers or just double tap with one finger instead. I kinda wish we could do the same thing on the old apps, but on this app we have by default, we just have to swipe with three fingers. Now with the pixel eraser I mentioned earlier, we are going to make our title design. We are going to use the eraser to clean up the marker. Erase it so that it looks like a rectangle. Then we are going to erase inside as well, just enough so that we can write layers inside. After this, we'll grab the ballpoint pen and write our title. I think it's looking pretty stylish. So if you want to make something stand out, this might be a good way to do it. You can do this using apps other than Notepad as well, so give it a try and see. And here from the second from the right, we have an option to move. Using this, we can move the title part around. Unfortunately, we can't make things smaller or bigger using this app, but we can duplicate it. Just cut it out, press on it, and this duplicate button will show up. With this, we can basically make the same thing over and over, and change the color as well. So cut out a part you want to change, and choose a color from the palette. This is pretty simple and easy. If you prefer to have a more fancy color, you can press the rainbow button and play with the sliders like before, or choose the color from the grid. We can make only the layers black too, so play around with this a little bit and create your own design. Now we've done quite a few things with the marker tool already, and if you ever want to insert some text, just disable the markup tool at the top, press anywhere on the screen, and the keyboard will show up. And now we can insert whatever text we want. 
And then we got images here. I actually love this tool a lot, so I want you all to use it as well. If you press the camera button at the top, an option that says photos or videos will show up. Using this, we are going to put our pictures. After this, we can press once to zoom in and again to zoom out. But we can also use the markup tool to put letters in the picture. Here we have the pencil mark at the top right showing that it's on. Then we can use the markup tool within the picture. Let me try something here. Like this is Sony, this is iPhone, or this is a phone by Panasonic. Once I'm done writing stuff, we can turn off the markup tool and press it to go back to the document. And as you can see here in the picture we put inside the note app, we still have the stuff we wrote. You can also add or erase stuff afterward. And if you press the share button at the top right, this save photo button shows up. This lets you save this picture in your camera roll. You can also share your picture directly with your friends using a messenger app, and I find it's pretty useful. I actually use it all the time, so whenever you want to write some notes on a picture, this is definitely a great way to do it. Lastly, let's talk about what to do when you want to make a neat diagram or some kind. We actually have some great tools to do that, so I'm just going to briefly mention them here. First, we have ruler tool. When you want to draw straight lines, for instance, you can use this adjustable angle ruler to do it. Another thing is that using a regular ballpoint pen, Whenever you draw a shape, you can press and hold to make it perfect automatically. You can also draw perfect circles, squares, and triangles like this. And you can make other things as well. We can also have some arrows for infographic. You just have to draw the arrow and then press and hold and it will make them look perfect as well. Of course, you can draw straight arrows as well, but they really make these curved ones look great. I find it such a great tool to have. You can also do speech bubbles. You just have to draw a speech bubble like this, press and hold, and it'll smooth it out for you. Also stars, if you draw a star in one go using the star design, it will adjust the shape accordingly. Then we can also have other types of arrows. Before we had line arrows, but if you want to have something different like this one, it still works the same way. And here we have a great feature called Scribble. Actually, they added this recently, and you basically convert your handwriting to text. I find it's pretty cool. It's also really accurate, so I actually use it when studying English as well. What I do is I listen to some English, I try to write down everything that I hear, and since they all convert my handwriting to text, it's really nice when I look back on my notes later. So I totally recommend this for studying as well. And Scribble isn't just in the note app, you can use it in all sorts of apps. For example, in Safari, if you write up Apple iPad, it lets us search it up really quickly. You don't really need to switch back and forth between the screen and the keyboard, so it will speed things up. Actually, I think we can use Scribble on a lot of apps lately, so go ahead and see if it works with your apps. And that's all for today. Today I talk about some different ways you can use your Apple Pencil with the note apps. How was it, everyone? I hope there was at least one thing you learned today. And if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos and tips and hacks about iPad. 
so please do that too. I got a lot of other videos available in my channel, so if you're interested, definitely check them out. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. See you next time. Bye bye.